But they gave me the sample of the first chapter. And all I want to do is read with you the first chapter. Because right now, me and the young men from the Leaders Club are reading through this book. We're taking it a chapter a week and discussing it. And I'll share with you some of the insights we've gained. So go ahead, please, down to the uh, first page. So there we go. You are the woman. Thank you so much. Chapter 1, Lemmings 101. Next page. Yep, there we go. These are lemmings. This look like a tough book. <laughs> Next page. This is a cliff. If you know where this is heading and you have a weak stomach, you may wish to skip the next few pages. Yeah. Touch it. Oh, right there. Touch it. There you go. Oh, the horror. Next page. Yes, lemmings jump off cliffs. Why do they do this? No one really knows. Some scientists have nothing better to do, have, that, that have nothing better to do, have puzzled over this question for decades. Maybe this behavior is instinctual. Maybe it's culturally conditioned. Whatever the answer, thousands of lemmings the world over continue to march to the edges of cliffs and simply leap into the great unknown. Next. Among lemmings, this behavior is considered normal. Take, for example, the great or the annual Great Lemming Jump Fest. Rarely witnessed by scientists, this eagerly anticipated event features dancing, barbecue, and Elvis impersonations and culminates in the big leap. Next. Lemmings never think about why they jump off cliffs. They just do it. When I read that, the Lord laid the young people of my community on my heart. Thinking about these things that have been culturally conditioned. Why, why is it important that you be, ha have sex with multiple partners? Why, why is it important that you smoke weed? Why, why, why is it important that you chase this fast money? What is it, what is it that is causing you to go down this road? What is it that's causing you to run to the cliff. 